Hey there, welcome to the Pharmacist Online. Today this video is about the Brown Active Skin 9 BP monitor. As you can see, the Brown Active Skin 9 is an upper arm blood pressure monitor. So in this video, I will explain how to take a BP measurement with the Brown Active Skin 9 properly. As you can see, the Brown Active Skin 9 is a Bluetooth compatible BP monitor. So I will explain how to synchronize this BP monitor with the smartphone and you can easily transfer your BP results to your smartphone. So let's start the unboxing of this Brown Active Scan 9. As you can see the Brown Active Scan 9 BP monitor is very well packed and it has a beautiful packaging. It's like a gift. As you can see this is the monitor of Brown Active Scan 9. It's very beautiful in shape and has a very good interface. As you can see, there is a soft inflation cup inside the box. This is the one we have to wrap around our arm and we will take the BP measurement. A booklet for using this blood pressure monitor. You have to read this before using the BP monitor. If there is any errors, so please refer to the booklet and you will get solution for that errors. Now as you can see, this is the soft inflation cuff using for the arm and there is battery cells which we will install inside the BP monitor. I will show you now how to use this inflation cup as you can see this is a very large and very suitable for the big arm also or for the 30 person even so now let me show you how to install these battery cell inside the machine open it from here gently as you can see here by pressing this side so this will open and now keep the battery cells according to the plus and minus sign inside the symbols if your BP monitor is not working properly or the turn on off button is not working so maybe the batteries are not installed very well and you cannot start your BP monitor so the best way to remove all the batteries and install it correctly again according to the plus and minus sign here so your BP monitor will start working and ready for using. After installing the batteries the device will ask for the basic settings here so take your device out and stay with me so you can make the basic setting in your BP monitor. I will explain you here. Press this turn on button and your device will turn on. As you can see the screen here, the device is now ready to use but you have to make the setting. For example, set the date and time first. By rotating this button as you can see the circular you will make the proper setting. We will choose our date and time now as you can see in the screen we will set the time first set the time and press the middle button now set the minutes as you can see here by rotating and press the middle button so your device will set the time okay now select again ok button now this is the date so select your date month and year so we will select the date first by rotating this circular button as you can see the down here select the proper date press the ok button now select the month by rotating this button here rotate and select the month and then select the year as you can see by rotating and bringing this to the 2021 it's okay now press the ok button now here you have to register the user the first user for example i will show you here press this button select the first world then go to the next world for example i will select the adam so go to a d a m and select the by this button after finishing the name you will come down and select the ok button so this device will register your first user and this is used for two users 
so later on i will show you how can you add the another user also into this bp monitor now our device is ready but there is certain features as you can see in the screen here you should know about all these features so you this device will be easy for you to use for the bp measurement at home as you can see here all i will explain one by one here so be concentrative and watch these all steps be carefully and don't skip any part of this video i will show you from the beginning this is the proper way of setting here i will explain in this video how can you set this every step in your device this is very important for the bp measurement as you can see we select here the setting position and the device users and we select the ok here now if you want to change the time here is the time format you want 24 hours or 12 hours so you have, you can change that one also here the user add the another user for example i will write a b c d you can write according to the name of the another user you want to register in by selecting the walls and pressing the OK button so your next user will be registered. Now as you can see here, this is the time. You have to choose the time format whether you want to use 12 hours or 24 hours time format. Okay, by selecting the time format and clicking on that one. As you can see, I will select the 12 hours. So I will select this one and press the OK button now here the time if you want to change the time so you can change from here am pm you can change from here it's very important for the bp measurement select the ok button this is the time and this is the date also if you want to change the date again here you can change it now as you can see this icon this is for the setting here if you want to sh this device to show you the proper way of setting and bp measurement so you will select that one as you can see if you don't want so you can cancel it but the best way to select it so the device will guide you how to mirror the bp select this one now come here if you want to add the users so also you will add the two users and each time the device will ask you for which user do you want to mirror the bp as i explained before this is for the users you can register user 1 and user 2 and you can edit also and you can even delete also this is for the editing and now here this is the most important as you can see this device will save your bp data according to morning evening and this will take the average automatically and this will show you the average of seven days 14 days and month also and this is very easy for your physician to manage your hypertension this is the home button now this heart symbol as you can see when you measure the bp so we will select this one and we will click ok so our device will start measurement of the blood pressure as you can see this will also guide you how to sit properly before taking a bp measurement so we will select this option so this will guide us also how to wrap the arm cup properly as you can see in the screen this will guide you step by step how to keep this tube in the middle of the hand and get ready for bp measurement so i will advise to select this option also select this ok button and go back to the home screen if you don't want to use this symbol so you can select the cross and this will not guide you if you know properly how to use but for the new user it's better you select the ok button so the device will guide you before the taking the bp measurement okay this start bp measurement automatically i will show you later in this video let's make the proper setting first this is you can see this symbol for the blood pressure trend as you can see this will show you by colors even whether at this time your bp was high or low when you required bp morning and evening so this will save the data regularly and will show you a trend bp is increasing or decreasing this is the calendar this you can select the proper date 
and click the OK button so this will show you on the day your BP result. These are the symbols green, yellow, orange and red. This will appear according to your BP results. Green is for normal, yellow for elevated, orange for high BP and red is for hypertensive crisis. You will select this all. The proper way of setting also we will select this one as you can see you have to sit on the chair and keep the device in the table on your front. The Bluetooth symbol here is used to synchronize Brown Active Scan 9 with the smartphone. So I will also explain how can you synchronize your BP monitor with the smartphone. And now I will explain you how to measure BP with the Brown Active Scan 9. Before taking a BP measurement, it's better if you are well rested and if you have taken your meal, tea or coffee or even you just came from exercise or work outside so you have to rest in your room and sit on the chair relax and even keep your legs unstretched like this position and then take the BP measurement now let me take the BP measurement you can see here take the soft inflation cuff you can do it alone also but here we are recording with you so my friend is helping me and keep in the mind better if your arm is without clothes you can stretch it like this and keep the tube in the middle of your hand as you can see let me show you here exactly take the inflation cuff and keep on the arm okay this is a long inflation cuff and suitable for all people keep at least two centimeter above from the elbow as you can see there now wrap around the arm normally not too tight or not too loose as you can see here you can do it easily by yourself and keep arm cuff parallel to the heart position and make sure the tube is in the middle of your hand running to your palm as you can see here don't keep this below your arm the tube keep in the middle of your hand and running to your palm holding in your middle of fingers quite easy you can do it by yourself now by pressing the power button the device will turn on as you can see a symbol of heart will appear and the user for which user you want to measure the BP for example for your user A or for your user B now after selecting the user when you click OK you can see the heart symbol will appear I will show you clear in this video let me show you here as you can see the heart symbol appear here on the screen so you will select that one and when you press the ok button as you can see middle of this circular button so the BP measurement will start and this will take your systolic blood pressure diastolic blood pressure and a heart rate also so by pressing the button as I told you in the beginning of the video the device will guide you are you standing so this is the wrong way or if you are sit on the chair okay after that the device will guide you how to wrap around the arm the inflation cuff so here the device will guide you whether your arm cuff is ready properly or not and the tube is in the middle of your hand or not so you make sure that all. and by pressing the button the BP measurement will start as you can see it start the inflation so we'll start BP measurement in systolic diastolic and a heart rate also as you see you are relaxed and you don't move because when you move your device will give the errors or even if you are talking to someone so you will get the wrong BP result and maybe your device will give you the errors so you should be quite calm and relaxed after that you can get the correct BP measurement as you see here we will get our BP result in systolic diastolic and also a pulse rate as you can see we got the BP results here in a few seconds the systolic is 148 the diastolic is 105 and this BP measurement is for the user Adam as we selected before and the pulse rate is 74 okay the color of this result is little bit changed this show you the BP is elevated because we are in the middle of this activity so we got the elevated BP result otherwise you will get the green result for the normal blood pressure this yellow for the elevated BP result 
and orange for the high BP. And if it's red, so it means this is the hypertensive crisis and you have to seek for the medical attention. Now before, as I told you, you can get your BP results saved in your device and you can also transfer to your smartphone. To synchronize brown active scan with the smartphone, you have to write in the Play Store or the App Store one application named Brown Healthy Heart. As you can see here on the screen also, you download this one and make the profile. I have already downloaded and I have already made the profile so you will enter all the credentials and you will make the profile for yourself. Now I will tell you how to add the device. You go to the profile and to this icon as you can see add or remove the device. You click on this one. Okay. Now you click this one add device. And from the screen, you select the device which you want to synchronize. So we will select the shape of the brown active scan. Click next. Now keep one thing in the mind. The, in the mobile application, this will show you all the instruction. And you follow the instruction and you get connected your mobile with a BP monitor. As here, this show us open the Bluetooth okay and hold this for a few seconds until the Bluetooth signal appear on the BP monitor as you can see here we hold it for a few seconds and the signal in the BP monitor appears as you can see here visibly so this will now connect and synchronize easily you connect on the next as you can see the atom is connected to the smartphone application you click on yes and it's done now as you can see the data is automatically synchronized this is the data which we read before so each time you want to synchronize the new data just only open the application and synchronize easily stay safe and healthy and please subscribe to the pharmacist online thank you so much